Melissa? Joey's girlfriend. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Is Blossom around? Yeah, listen, she wanted me to entertain you, but we're going out to see a movie, so, uh... <laughs> hey, the comics are on the back page, buddy. Huh? <laughs> see you. Oh, now, you must be Kennedy. And you must be Vincent. Nice to meet you. You can call me Vinny. And you can call me Kennedy. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, what grade are you in? First. How do you like it? It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is college. Is your teacher nice? Well, I have more than one teacher. Oh, my. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I got homework today. Green eggs and ham. <laughs> hey, how are you two getting along? Well, you stay away from him, okay? He's mine. Don't worry. He's cute, but he's not my type. <laughs> Could you look any more beautiful? I don't think so. How do you always know the right thing to say? Well, with you, I can't help it. Go on. What are we doing? Close your eyes. Okay, open them. Oh, wow. This is a pretty exclusive place. I had to book the reservation weeks in advance. Yeah. Sparkling cider? Please. Mm. An excellent month. Mm. Already the box boy at the market recommended it. Well, then it's got to be good. I'd like to propose a toast to the person who helped make this whole evening possible. Too too <laughs> Blossom, the dinner was incredible. And am I crazy or is this lemon meringue pie homemade? <laughs> it absolutely is. <laughs> what? Uh, if I was at school right now, I'd be sitting in my room trying to imagine what you were doing. Now I don't have to. You know, I really wish you weren't leaving tomorrow. Well, Blossom, being here with you tonight has helped me make a decision. I'm going to transfer to UCLA so we can be together. Is this one of our good silences? putting it here for me to wash? Well, you're already doing the dishes. Do I look like Alyssa to you? Someone who fulfills your every whim? I mean, admit it, she's like an indentured servant. What are you talking about? Her teeth are real. <laughs> Joey, she lives for you. So? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Joey. Hey. I stayed up late finishing this for you. I hope you like it. Oh, I do. <laughs> you want to come in? Oh, I can't. I have to go pick up some more wool. I'm knitting you matching gloves. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay, all right, we'll see you. <laughs> Too bad she couldn't stay and wash your bowl. Oh, you heard her. She'll be back later. <laughs> From last night? Yeah. Oh, that's a good sign. It is? Yes, it means it didn't went very well. I mean, if it hadn't, she'd have done them last night. Men, we use paper plates. <laughs> you know, sometimes I find the English language to be so thoroughly inadequate, but if I had to choose a word to describe last night, it would be magical. Oh, 
doesn't get much better than that. Yes, it does. Vinny and I are getting back together. He's transferring to UCLA, and I've decided to go there, too. We're going to share an apartment after I graduate. Actually, I'm supposed to meet him in, like, ten minutes. We're going to start living today. Isn't this great? I'll see you later. <laughs> sweater. Thanks. <laughs> but it looks much better on you. I made you lunch. Oh, well, that's very sweet of you. You know, but really could have gone out. Oh, I know how much you like to watch your sports. So how's the game? Boring. It's a blowout. <laughs> hey, um, what do you feel like watching? <laughs> Whatever you want to watch. No, I, I want you to decide. <laughs> okay. I decide that I want you to decide. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. You want to watch MTV? That's my favorite. Or we can watch American Gladiator. That's my favorite, too. Monitor. Hey, how about the Weather Channel? Oh, that's another favorite. Oh. <laughs> that's what you want to watch, is the Weather Channel? Well, yeah. I mean, if it's what you want to watch. Oh, look, a five-day forecast. <laughs> <laughs> really paid off. How was the apartment, honey? Exciting. It made it all seem so real. You know, if you think about it, this works on so many levels. I'll be living just a few miles away, and staying in L.A. means I won't have to pay out-of-state tuition, which will be considerably cheaper, not to mention the money that Vinny and I will save by sharing expenses. I see. I'm getting the distinct impression that you're not completely enthralled with these plans. I'm not. I think you're acting impulsively. I mean, just the other day, you're telling me you don't know where you're going to go to school. Today, you know where you're going to school, where you're going to live, and who with. You mean, with whom? That, too. <laughs> I also think you might be hiding behind something familiar and safe, rather than facing the challenges of the life that lies ahead of you. You know what I admire most about you, Dad? It's the way that you always let me know that no matter what, you believe in me. And you have faith that ultimately I'll make the right decision. And, and because of that, I feel good about myself. And that's what makes you a great father. I believe that's checkmate. <laughs> I love that necklace. Smashing, isn't it? It was given to me by an old beau, the Earl of Burlingham. What was the occasion? Tuesday. <laughs> Would you like to wear it tonight? I know you and Vinny are celebrating. Uh, yeah, thanks. Oh, a lot of wonderful things are happening for you all at once. I know. I think my dad's afraid I'm moving too. My dad's afraid I'm moving too quickly. I'd love to know what you think. Are you sure you want to hear it from a woman who's been married three times? <laughs> it should be three times as valuable. Well, there's nothing more exciting than having an old boyfriend come back and declare his love for you. <sighs> oh, it's thrilling. It's passionate. Romantic. And I'm a sucker for romance. For a long time, I let it rule my life. Is there something wrong with that? No. Not now that I've met your dad. I'm just suggesting that whatever you do, make sure you think it through. You can never get that time back. You know, I'm really glad you're not my mom. Oh, really? Why is that? I don't need to ignore your good advice. Looks nice. <laughs> Thank you. All right. 
Blossom, I've been figuring everything out. As soon as I withdraw from my classes, we could use the tuition I get back as a down payment on an apartment. But we could talk about all this over dinner. Granted, it won't be as nice as Shea Blossom. Can we sit down for a second? Absolutely. I'm sensing this is not one of our good silences. Well, I've been figuring out a few things myself. Okay. Look, I want you to know that, that your coming here is without a doubt the single most romantic thing that anyone has ever done for me. But? But I... I think maybe we've been acting a little impulsively. What, that's a bad thing? Not always. However, in this case, it may be. We're young. This is our time to explore, find out who we are. I agree, and we can do that together. Well, we can, but well, right now I think it's important that we each take care of ourselves. I need the freedom to make my own choices, like, like deciding which school to go to. And, and if you want to go to UCLA, then, then you should do it because it's right for you. It is right for me. The me that wants to be with you. Look, I don't want us relying on each other to, to get through what we should be doing on our own. Is that what you think we're doing? I do. Really? Really. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe you're right. I mean, being together would have solved a lot of problems for me. What kind of problems? <laughs> well, Princeton's been a little tougher than I anticipated. Especially some of my engineering classes. Like all of them. And at times, I'm lonely, like all of them. And I was so afraid to make a decision about where to go to school, and then you came along, and, and I let you make it for me. And that's not right for me or you or us. Are you telling me I got to go back to Princeton? <laughs> no, I'm not. You're not telling me. I gotta go back to Princeton. And I've gotta do what's right for me. Whatever that is. You know, we could have done this whole thing over the phone. Yeah, but you would have missed a great dinner and a few other things. I miss those other mm -hmm. things. Me too. I was going to give this to you later, but I guess now I'll have to do. Hey, goodbye. Blossom, I will always hear your voice in my heart. I love you. I love you, too. Joey, you look like how I feel. Yeah, well, we are related. <laughs> No, I mean you look melancholy. <sighs> nah, I'm just sad. <laughs> me and Alyssa broke up. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too, but you know, you were right. All she wanted to do was what I wanted to do. And most of the time, you don't know what you're doing. Exactly. <laughs> so I had to end it. How'd she take it? I don't know, she hung up. So what are you writing? A letter to Vinny. We didn't break up. We're just not together. Wasn't the right time. Well, maybe it will be someday. <laughs> maybe. Hey, you want to go see a movie or something? Yes, I do. Um, but it's your choice. We'll go see whatever you want to see. Little Women. <gasps> You're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
little women, uh, okay, all right. You know, that's what I like about you, Blossom. You know what you want and you go after it. I really respect that. <laughs> How about Street Fighter? No. <laughs> all right, you know what I want to see? No. I want to see no. something with some action. No. Some pulse. No. Something. <laughs> Those piano lessons really paid off. How's the apartment going? How's the apartment hunting going? Oh, exciting. It made it all seem so real, you know. If you think about it... Thank you. <laughs> I also think you might be hiding behind something familiar and safe. Rather than facing the challenges of the life that lies ahead of you. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs>